Some of the tactics around prepayment meters caused outrage, and hot on the heels of that comes the profits announcement. Carol Pine in Bexley is one unhappy customer. What their aim is, obviously, to make loads of money out of people, and if they're doing it this way, it's wrong. Carol's autistic son was massively overcharged on his smart meter, and it took a lot of calls to finally sort it out. I'm quite tenacious, but I just felt, oh, I'm, do I give up here? And at which point my son stepped up and said, no, we do not give up. Do you feel that they're banking on a certain percentage of people just absolutely, giving? Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that if it, even if I were on my own, I would have felt totally overwhelmed by this situation, not knowing who to turn to. The future is net zero. Centrica says it is investing in the future, and the boss today insisted they are supporting customers. For customers, we've invested well over £200 million in customer service, support and pricing across 2022, including more than £50 million in voluntary support for domestic and business energy customers in the UK and Ireland. All right, well, this is the electric meter that British, the British Gas put in. Sandra Ward was told she had to have a prepayment meter. She's shocked by today's news. It's moral, really. Oh, well, I mean, if they're making a lot of profit, they should uh, give more help to people that are on low incomes and are perhaps vulnerable and, and having trouble um, keeping up with the uh, fuel bills. And it's led to renewed calls for windfall taxes. We have been urging the Conservatives to expand the windfall tax to ensure that you can freeze energy bills, extend that freeze. And I think it is shocking too that the Conservatives and Rishi Sunak are currently refusing to do that. So the profits announcement isn't universally popular. What do you think when you see those sorts of headlines? It doesn't sit comfortably at all because I think anybody, working people, people on benefits, elderly people, ordinary people are struggling to pay, pay bills on a daily basis and we're all noticing and we're all keeping an eye on things. Tonight, all eyes are on industry profits and tax and whether that balance feels right and proper. Simon Viger, 5 News.